Vimla starts for FS every day at 9 a.m. and reaches exactly on time if she drives her at her usual speed of 40 km per hour. She is late by 6 minutes if she drives at 35 km per hour ratios. Speed has become 35 by 40 or 7 by 8 times. That means the time taken should become 8 by 7. Straight away, the Jugar of Zesho should come to you. One day, she covers two-third of her distance to office and one-third of her usual time to reach the office and then stops for eight minutes. The speed in kilometers per hour, which she should drive the remaining distance to reach office exactly on time. Let's first find out how much is the time she takes. Okay, The speed has become, as far as speed has become, speed has become 35 by 40 times. The speed was earlier 40 km, now it has become 35. So the ratio of speed is 35 by 40 or 7 by 8. That means time taken should become 8 by 7 times. So if the original time was t at the speed of 40 km per hour, if she was taking t hours or t minutes, whatever you want to call it. okay. So, so it was taking, uh, this is given in minutes, so I'll take it t minutes. Okay? Because this data is in minutes, so I'll say she was taking t minutes. If she was taking t minutes, now she'll take 8 by 70. And so what is the extra time she's taking? 8 by 70 minus t, t by 7. So the extra time is t by 7, which is 6 minutes, which implies earlier she was taking 42 minutes. Okay. Earlier she was taking 42 minutes to, uh, to, to, to reach her destination at a normal speed. Okay, let me just erase this because there's some lack of space. Okay, so, so what do we have right now? At a speed of 40 kilometers per hour, she takes 42 minutes to reach her destination. Now what happens? Okay, and let me assume the distance is D. Okay, one day she covers two thirds of her distance in one third of her time. Two third of the distance, that means two by three D, is covered in one third of the time. One third of 42 is 14 minutes. Okay. And to reach office and then stops for 8 minutes. Then 8 minutes, zero distance covered. Okay. The speed in kilometers per hour at which she should drive the remaining distance. So how much time has gone? 22 minutes. In 22 minutes, she has covered two-third of the distance. So the remaining one-third of the distance she has to do it in. Earlier, she was taking 42 minutes. At the normal speed, she still needs to take 42 minutes. She's already spent 22 minutes, so she has to do the remaining distance in, in 20 minutes, sorry. Okay. So D, one third of D she'll do in 20 minutes. So D she will do in 60 minutes. What does that mean? The speed has to be D kilometers per hour. D kilometers in 60 minutes, the speed has to be D kilometers per hour. So what do we need to find? The distance. I'm sure we can find that distance. Why? Because we know at 40 kilometers per hour, she's taking 42 minutes. So speed is equal to distance upon time or distance is equal to speed into time. What is the speed? 40 kilometers per hour. Time taken is 42 minutes. So in terms of hours is 42 by 60. 20 into 2, 20 into 3, 14. 14 to the 28. So distance is equal to 28 kilometers. So speed has to be 28 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now again, I'm repeating, please use ratios. There's a very strong tendency among large number of you not to use ratio, but to form equations. Nothing's wrong with it, except it is going to be a little time consuming. And hence your attempts is going to come down. Okay. So the jugar here was again, please use ratios.